So this is one of my all-time favorite topics to speak about. About 95% of all non-hormonal weight issues are caused by one thing, one thing, and that's our addiction to food. And in almost all cases of food addiction, it's not our fault. There was a time not too long ago where obesity wasn't even an afterthought. And that's because there wasn't really anybody who was obese. And that was before, you know, most of the foods we eat today were entered into our food system. Hi, Hunter Reed here with another episode of Living Kula. Today, I'm going to share with you a list. A list of the top five ingredients that create our addiction to food. And if you were to cut these out of your diets, you would lose weight with relative ease. Now, I am not saying cutting these foods out of your diet will be easy. But if you tried everything else and you want to shed those extra pounds, I offer you a challenge. I challenge you to cut these out of your diet for 10 days. That's it. That's not even two weeks. And after 10 days, see how you feel, how you look, what types of foods that you crave. And maybe you'll never go back, but 10 days is all I'm asking for. It's a very short period of time. And the worst thing that could happen is you'll just lose a little bit of weight. Now for the top five foods to stop eating in order to lose weight. Number one, artificial flavors. These trick your body into craving calories instead of craving nutrients. Number two, chemical ingredients. Food ingredients that you either can't pronounce or don't understand why they're in their food. One thing of note is I know gums like xanthan gums sound kind of weird, but they actually tend to be natural. Number three, fortified foods. These are foods with added vitamins and minerals. Examples of this are some cereals and protein bars. Our body craves these vitamin and minerals, but can't use the fortified ones and therefore create a powerful addictive response. Number four, any snack food product that has their nutrients cooked into oblivion. These are snacks that are puffed, fried, baked, basically any processed snack that doesn't say raw on the package, cut it out. And then number five, Sugars or sweeteners, whether they're natural or artificial, it doesn't matter. Your body thinks it's sugar, even if it's stevia, ethyl, anything. Your body thinks it's sugar and creates an addictive response. Now, I should say gluten and dairy, but they're not as important as the five I just mentioned. And I should say alcohol, but I like to have fun. I don't want to stop you from having fun. And I should say meat. But meat is a great source of protein and B vitamins that you may not be able to get elsewhere. But if you do want an extra challenge, if you focus your diet around vegetables and eat 70% non-meat and 30% meat, you're a superstar. If you do participate in my 10-day challenge by cutting these five ingredients out of your diet, you will kick your weight loss journey into overdrive, especially if you're a superstar who's gonna eat 70% fruits and vegetables and only 30% meat. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you participate in this challenge. Please like this video. Feel free to share this challenge with any of your friends or family. Uh, please put any questions you have in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to make eating healthy super easy. Live and be cooler.